When it comes to classic Hollywood actors, Ann Southern's name stands out as one that has left an indelible mark on the industry. Her illustrious career spans decades, and among the many legendary works she's been a part of, one question often arises, which one defined her career? Perhaps it was her iconic role in the popular TV series Private Secretary, or her memorable performances in films like Macy that made her a household name. But before we delve into that, let's take a moment to reflect on when you first recognized Anne Southern. For many, the first encounter with Anne Southern's talent may have been in the glamorous era of classic Hollywood cinema. Her beauty, charisma, and exceptional acting skills made her an instant favorite among film enthusiasts. Whether it was through her charming screen presence or her remarkable voice, Anne Southern left an indelible impression on those who were fortunate enough to witness her work. Now, let's shift our focus to something more personal. We want to hear from you about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. Did you have the privilege of meeting her, or was there a particular film or performance that left an enduring impact on you? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear your perspectives on this legendary figure. So, whether you're a long-time admirer of Anne Southern's work or just discovering her talents for the first time, there's no denying her influence on the world of entertainment. Join us in celebrating the remarkable career and contributions of this classic Hollywood actor. Anne Southern, a prominent actress known for her work in film and television, left a lasting mark on the entertainment industry. One of her notable achievements was her role as Susie McNamara on Private Secretary from 1953 to 1958, making her the first working woman to lead an American sitcom. This was a significant milestone in the portrayal of women on television. Southern faced a personal challenge when she battled hepatitis, which left her visibly overweight. During this period, she exclusively wore black outfits in her 1950s sitcoms, Private Secretary, and The Ann Southern Show in 1958. Her determination to continue her career despite this setback is a testament to her resilience. In addition to her acting, Southern showcased her vocal talents by singing the Oscar-winning song The Last Time I Saw Paris in the 1941 film Lady Be Good. Her multifaceted talents contributed to her enduring popularity in the entertainment world. Anne Southern's contributions to both television and film, along with her ability to overcome personal challenges, have solidified her place in entertainment history. Her groundbreaking role in Private Secretary and her dedication to her craft continue to be remembered and celebrated. Anne Southern, the accomplished actress known for her significant contributions to film and television, had a remarkable connection with notable figures in the entertainment world. Her younger sister, Bonnie Lake, was a prolific singer and songwriter who penned popular standards like Sandman, I've Got Your Number, and Gracias. These songs went on to be recorded by big band stars like Tommy Dorsey and Benny Goodman, and in the 1940s, Bonnie founded the Bonnie Lake Music Publishing Company. Furthermore, Anne was good friends with Elaine Anderson, the former wife of Zachary Scott, and the stage manager for many of Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein I.S. Broadway productions. Anne's introduction to Elaine led to her eventual marriage to the famous novelist John Steinbeck, and after his passing, Elaine became the administrator of Steinbeck's literary estate. Anne's lasting friendship with Merv Griffin is another noteworthy connection. They crossed paths when Merv was a house singer at the Pebble Beach Lodge in Monterey, California, and Anne was a struggling starlet at Columbia Pictures. During Anne's transition to television with her hit sitcom Private Secretary in 1953, she encouraged Griffin to venture into this emerging medium. Merv Griffin, in turn, became one of the most successful figures in the showbiz industry. Anne Southern's relationships and influence on her peers highlight her significant impact not only in her acting career, but also in the broader world of entertainment. These connections played a vital role in shaping the entertainment industry of her time. Among her numerous business interests were a dress shop and gift shop in Idaho, a ranch for breeding black Angus beef, a music publishing company, and a sewing center shop. Anne Southern, the accomplished actress, extended her talents beyond the screen and stage into various entrepreneurial ventures. These included owning and managing a dress shop and a gift shop in Idaho, as well as a ranch for breeding black Angus beef. 
Additionally, she ventured into the music industry with her own music publishing company, and even opened a sewing center shop. Southern's multifaceted career and business acumen showcased her versatility and determination to succeed in various fields. These enterprises were a testament to her wide-ranging interests and her ability to excel beyond acting, leaving a lasting legacy in both the entertainment and business worlds. Anne Southern, the accomplished actress, had a multifaceted career. While her acting prowess and personal challenges are well documented, it's worth noting that in 1953, as her film career waned, she made a pivotal decision to give television a chance. Despite a failed attempt to create a television series based on her popular Macy film character, Southern successfully transitioned to television by taking on the role of Susie McNamara on Private Secretary. This move marked a significant shift in her career, solidifying her presence in the world of television and showcasing her adaptability as an actress. Anne Southern, the accomplished actress, had a long and diverse career in the entertainment industry. She once quipped that she had done everything in the business except rodeo. From her early days in Hollywood to her transition to television, Southern showcased her adaptability and resilience. She even portrayed Macy Ravier on Mutual Radio's The Adventures of Macy from 1949 to 1951, adding radio to her list of accomplishments. Her multifaceted career and ability to excel in various fields solidify her place in the world of entertainment. Anne Southern, the accomplished actress, had strong connections in the entertainment world that extended far beyond her early days as a chorus girl. Her friendships with Lucille Ball and Anne Dvorak, forged during her time at the Goldwyn Studios and Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, had a profound and enduring impact on her career and the broader world of entertainment. Southern's close relationship with Lucille Ball, one of the most iconic figures in the history of television, provided her with valuable insights into the evolving landscape of the industry. Ball, known for her groundbreaking work in comedy, often exchanged ideas and collaborated with Southern, contributing to the rich tapestry of entertainment history. Their friendship not only allowed them to navigate the challenges of a male-dominated industry, but also fueled their shared passion for pushing the boundaries of comedy. Similarly, Southern's bond with Anne Dvorak. A talented actress renowned for her versatility opened doors to new opportunities and projects. Their shared experiences as chorus girls at different studios brought them closer, and they continued to support each other as they transitioned into more prominent roles on the big screen. Dvorak's insightful advice and encouragement helped Southern hone her craft and expand her repertoire. These relationships played a vital role in shaping Anne Southern's career offering her valuable guidance, inspiration, and emotional support. They also exemplify her enduring influence in Hollywood, where she not only achieved personal success, but also contributed to the broader landscape of entertainment. The legacy of these friendships serves as a testament to Southern's impact on the industry, demonstrating how genuine connections and mutual respect can foster creativity and innovation in the world of entertainment. This is the enduring story of Anne Southern and her influential friendships with Lucille Ball and Anne Dvorak. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the remarkable career of actress Anne Southern, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the personal connection you've forged with this talented artist. Whether you've been captivated by her charming performances on the silver screen or touched by the characters she brought to life on stage, Anne Southern has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Now is the perfect time to share your fondest memories, thoughts, or admiration for her work. Did her wit and charisma light up your favorite classic films? Have her roles ever resonated with your own experiences, making her characters feel like old friends? This is your opportunity to connect with fellow admirers and celebrate the legacy of a true cinematic luminary. As we collectively reminisce and express our appreciation for Anne Southern's contributions to the world of entertainment, we celebrate her enduring impact. Her talent, dedication, and the lasting impressions she left behind have enriched our lives and continue to inspire generations of performers. Thank you for joining us in honoring this extraordinary actress and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your engagement enriches the tapestry of our collective admiration for Anne Southern, and for that, we are genuinely grateful.